What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Fresh off of Space Science Week down in Washington, D.C. It was at the it was like the most gorgeous place I've ever seen, uh, at least when it comes to the buildings. It was at the, I think, the where was it? The Science Engineering and Medicine, the National Academies of Science Engineering and Medicine. It was down on Constitution Ave. It was awesome. Check back later for a synopsis for like my final hit of that and we are off to the races back on mars curiosity i've got the dawn video coming up here soon but this one i wanted to put out look well, there is running water on mars now it seeps down from these rocks this is about picture number 22 we're going to have a really good video coming out here soon it's going to have all of them it's going to have a pdf file and we're going to send this off to nasa because this isn't something they've talked about um, the actual curiosity finding these flows of water and what's very interesting about these um, Let me show you the whole picture here then show me where you can get it These are from the new Sol, so we can't look at it out on the PDS system yet And it's you know full quality, but it doesn't take a genius to see that that's water flowing down You can even see how you know How it actually flows and let me take a look here. We've seen this before. Here's the actual NASA site just click below, that's all you have to do, and you'll find it. But just check this little picture out here real fast. Okay, so here it is directly from NASA. Um, and if you've noticed lately, this uh, new computer of mine has ultra high def. So these are going to be in, I think, 4000 or 4K or something like that. I'm going to try and upload this one at the top quality today so you guys can see it. But what's, what's noticeable about the water events here is that they seem to be, they've been caught at least 20 times by by NASA and J, JPL. So the people are seeing these come down and they haven't tested them. They haven't shot the damn laser at them, excuse my language. I mean, you would think that you they'd always come up from the cracks and this is usually the type of place you see them, on a hill where you've got um, rocks that I don't know if they're collecting the uh, atmosphere water in, in the middle of the night or something. And, and during the day, it's, uh, you know, whether it's seeping up from the ground or if it's collecting and then, you know, as the day warms up and the Martian days do get pretty warm, um, it starts seeping down. And you can see where it's done it so many times in the past. Uh, here's a little bit different view of it. But if you just look at the around it, you know, see kind of over here where it's flowed in different areas. Let me put the gamma up just a little bit here so maybe we can really see it. Oop, I'm in the wrong one. Sorry about that. Let me hit the right one here. And then I just wanted to do this just to show you how much it's actually flown. Because when you pull the gamma up, you can really see it even better. Um, I mean, look at the different colors and the stains, especially over here on this side where it looks like it's come from different areas. Up here, there is another piece of it. It looks like it comes from up here, but you can follow it down. What's interesting is you can follow it down from here. Look at this block looking piece right here. Very interesting. It's coming down from here. It's coming around and it's here. It's either collecting more and you can see that the the soil, the regular, there's different. Look at it here. It's uh either something's buried right there and it's catching up on it, but this looks to me like liquid flow. I'd love to hear what you guys think below, whether uh, if you don't think it is, what do you think it is? <laughs> you know, what is it then? Um, is this just different color, you know, dirt that just happened to be like that? I don't think so because you can see around, especially on the other ones we have of this phenomenon, um, this is either salty water or just water, some sort of liquid flowing on Mars. And like I said, we're trying to put a paper together that we can all send out and say, you know, hey, NASA, let's talk about the actual water we see. They got there and they tested, a, you know, the rover got there and in one of the driest areas, they tested it with the scooped up some dirt, stuck it in about and tested it. And they said it had 0 0.02 um, was the water concentrate in it so basically i think it was for every couple feet you'd get a little you know that much a little bit of water this is a lot more than a little bit of water so there'd be times in the future where we could figure out if this is how it's working if it's coming from the atmosphere or coming from there is an atmosphere on mars so many people come to my channel and say oh there's no oxygen on mars there's no this on mars there's a lot of stuff on mars um it's just not 
supposedly not as thick as as it, you know it is here on Earth. But who's to say um, those numbers are the same all around Mars? We've only had probes in certain areas. We've only had uh, like rovers in certain areas. So, but everywhere we've gone, we find these these drips, and they seem to be coming, like I said, out of the the rock formations that are on hills. They're Bunch up the soil like you can almost take a piece of it and, you know, bunch it up like this and, and throw it like a snowball. You've got a couple, you've got it coming from here. Pretty cool. These rock formations are pretty interesting as well. You can see the cracks in them like, it, like it's almost uh, like that's the path the water's been taking over the years. You don't see any necessarily down through here. Um, but pretty cool. Let's see here. There was one other thing, a couple other things I was looking at that was just pretty interesting in the image. Oh, right here. Now, either this is a rock, some sort of... See, this is up in the air here, so see the shadow? This isn't a shadow of anything up there. See how the shadow comes right there? The shadow comes right there. But look how there's like a trail from here to here. And it looks like a trail. I mean, I, let me pull back to there back to there you can see it in both images it definitely looks like something's either walked across there or it's just maybe something um, happen chance fell down through there but it does kind of seem to move from from there to there but anyway guys just wanted to get this one out to you real quick and let you know that we're working still on the full mars water disclosure piece we found that there's so many places we find these and we haven't seen anything you think that they would have uh had this out, you know, and put it, uh, studied it, or, or at least, I know there's there's international laws, they say that they can't tamper with the ecosystem of, you know, another planet, well, we've sent nuclear-powered machine up there, which at some point is going to tamper, I don't see why we couldn't shoot at least the laser and try and figure out what this stuff is, or what type of, of fluid it is, by hitting the bottom of it. You know, if the source is coming from up here, say it's collecting all up here, uh, say it gets real wet um, at night or it gets real cold and maybe some ice forms and it melts, what would be the, you know, what would actually hurt us from taking a sample down here at the bottom? You're not going to, you know, you're not going to destroy the habitat. You're not going to change anything about the source of the water. So don't really understand why we haven't done that. Interesting all around. Look how close... Uh, I love the new, the new system. How fast it runs. This is the new iMac 27. I got it just beefed up beyond. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got the high intense, uh, the card in it, the video card. But check this stuff out. It's it's definitely some interesting rocks around it that look like water has run through here over the years. Pretty anomalous, water wise. <laughs> you know, here's interesting, kind of how these decks kind of come off here. Look at that, and, that, and look at the the matching shadow. That's just pretty cool. All around pretty cool how it sticks out like that. And then these down here, these come and stick up. So it's almost like layers upon layers have just fall down, you know, fallen down, cracked on top of each other. Whatever happened on Mars really took a bang. Look at this piece up here. I didn't know this this before. This kind of looks hazy. Look at that. Check that out. Look how hazy that looks. Let's see what it looks like in here. Yeah, it's definitely there. Um, and then you've got a piece right here. It almost looks like some sort of machinery or something that's... Uh, let's see if we can just brighten that up just a tad before I let you guys go. Exposure. Hey, you see that haze right there? And then you got something running across there. All right, guys, let me know what you think below. I got some really good videos coming up. Look, we got the Cirrus stuff coming. The uh, I tell you what, the stuff from Cirrus is absolutely amazing. This will be the next video we do. We're going to tackle this one, and it gets really close. So stay tuned, guys. Much love. What's up in the sky? Water all over Mars. Looks, this is the stuff that we should be researching. You know, we should definitely be taking samples here. Why NASA hasn't sampled there? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. What's up in the sky at 37? Much love.